Okay, folks, we're going to get back on this roll back. It's the next morning after I posted the other video, but uh, I'm going to use my old camera. It seems to pick up close up stuff better and in the dark better. So, anyway, we'll see how this works out. Uh, we're going to start by tying these two mounts together with a bolt and a spacer in between it. I'll measure it out and we'll cut a spacer. And then also, for some reason, They've got this welded on there, and there may be threads in it. I'm going to have to check, but uh, this should be tied to this. It's welded to here, but it's not tied into here. So we're going to, if we have to, we can take a long bolt and run through the whole thing if there's no threads in it. Uh, from the looks of that, it's three-quarter here, so it should be probably a half-inch coarse thread is what what I would think it would be anyway. So we're going to do that first and that'll tie everything together make sure everything's good and strong and then we're going to try to get some kind of a flat between here and this back bra bracket here and we'll chop this off. We'll cut this one off. This is just an extra to come down for that uh, AC compressor and uh, probably just get the plasma cutter out here uh, and a fire extinguisher of course okay I measured between here we got 550 thousandths uh, I want it I want to do it at 550 because I don't want to bend it in any it's a little bit on level but that should be okay we might want to loosen up a couple other bolts and maybe we can get this thing to where it's level across here anyway I've got a bushing here We'll uh, chuck it up in the lathe and cut it out. And we're going to have to board a little bit bigger. Let's cut a 5 16 hole. We want to go to a uh, uh, 3 8 But uh, I keep a bunch of that different bushing material in stock. So we'll get that done and get it on. Okay, folks. Got the bushing in. Bolt it in. Now we're going to move to this. See if we can get something done on it. Okay, we got a bolt in this one. So basically what we've done is we've tied this mount into this mount and then into this mount so we shouldn't have to worry about anything moving so now I'm going to come in here we'll do some marking I'm probably going to come down and then flat and then try to get this one level with it and just put a flat here and probably trim this off out here and of course like I said this one's going to go but uh We'll see if we can make us a place to put us a flat plate on there. And I don't know what I'll use. Maybe quarter inch. Maybe something a little thicker than that. I don't know. We'll we'll hunt something up. And uh, but we're going to try to get it where we can make a nice. I just noticed something else. Uh, anyway, so we can get a nice uh, mounting surface. But I just uh, happened to hit this, and I heard that that would be an aggravating thing. So uh, looks like we'll have to maybe probably pull this bolt out right here put a washer on it and then maybe weld it into that cover okay folks we're getting there uh, I've actually I tacked a plate on there got it level where I wanted it and I've just put two little tacks on it that way it would hold it long enough to, to check it out and uh, you know everything's lined up good and I think it's gonna work just fine now, I did go ahead and use three-quarter plate because I had a piece, but, uh, I mean, I'm sure it didn't need anything that big, but, eh, you know, who cares. Okay, folks, so uh, looking good. Uh, looks like it's going to work out just fine. I went ahead and drilled it and bolted it on, and then uh, put the plate back up there with the pump on it. You know, tacked it in place again. It's not welded permanent yet. But uh, I, I was able to get the belt on, no problem. And... Uh, I think that belt's gonna work just fine, but I've seen one thing that I'm gonna have to work with that I don't like. Uh, I was checking it over real good. I wanted to make sure that the, it wasn't rubbing anything. Let me climb up there. Maybe I won't fall on the butt. All meter bolt is touching the belt right here because we've changed the angle on the belt coming to our idler pulley because I've raised that idler pulley up. So, uh, we'll probably take the belt back off, maybe pull that bolt out, trim the front of it real good. We can't have it rubbing on there. Uh, 
besides that, I think everything's going to be fine. I mean, I'm, I'm impressed. I think you know, we're going to have plenty of room for our lines out the back. Looking good so far. Uh, of course, these bolts here were 3 8 coarse. These bolts here, the holes was big enough. I couldn't get half inch in them, but I did get 7 16 in them. And thankfully, that last load of junk I got from Jerry's had a bunch of 7 16 bolts, so I had that. Uh, you know, we lock washer everything, make sure nothing's going to come loose. Uh, and of course, recheck it over time because uh, you, know, you get a lot of vibration, now, you know, especially a diesel. But, uh, all right, let me get at it. I want to try to get it where we can get her fired up and check her out. Okay, we're going to go ahead and fire it up. I've got this welded on good enough to hold. I've got uh, the bar back on it because I didn't like the front end moving even though it is a little close. Uh, I don't think it's actually touching. I can see it on the screen here. Eh, it might be. But anyway, we're going to do something with that anyway. And I got my bolt cut off and no longer hitting the belt, so we're getting clear up there. It's the only bad thing about being out here by myself is I'm going to fire this thing up and hope nothing goes to crap on it. I checked it over good, so I think we're okay. All right, let's see what happens. Boy, I can't stand it. I'm gonna have to work for that for sure. Everything looks good and lined up and straight, but I don't like that. I don't like that noise. Definitely don't like the noise. But hopefully that's the problem. Uh, I mean, it's not, it's not under a load, so it's definitely it's not slipping. But uh, I don't know. We'll keep at it and figure it out. The belt's, you know, in a good spot on the idlers and everything. You know, the belt's good and tight. Uh, one thing about it, you know, this thing, we're probably covering 45% uh, of the pulley with the belt. And if for some reason it slips and that's not enough, I can go with a longer belt and move this idler here down. And that'll make this wrap farther around there. And uh, we should be able to get, you know, close to 65%, which would be over half, of course, of the contact area. Okay, folks, I gotta figure it out. We don't have any noise now. The bottom pulley, the bottom idler was out of line and uh, it bolts to one of these brackets and it was actually squealing on the back side of the belt going from it to the pulley. Okay folks, we've got it, uh, got it all welded up. It's not a pretty weld, but it's plenty of weld. Uh, I don't have to worry about it going anywhere. I think what I'm going to do on this bar, uh, I got the looking. You see there's about a quarter inch in between there and the bolt's already sticking through. So it's, you know, plenty long enough. And then this one here, got some thread there. I think I'm just gonna space this bar out and that way the length will be exactly the same. And uh, I think it'll work out just fine like that. So we'll get her spaced out. Uh, I may wait on that. I may go ahead and try to get these hoses on because it's gonna have to be off anyway to get to that. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to get some kind of hoses. Uh, I've got a suction and a pressure. Oh, uh, well, it looks like I'm going to buy one. I don't like it looks that crushed. But uh, we can go ahead and get the fitting off of uh, here and get it all cleaned up for the suction line. And then uh, I was going to try to use part of this and extend it, but, you know, it's not cheap, but I don't want to take any chances on it sucking shut or anything. And uh, pressure line, the bigger three-quarter is going to be the return. The smaller half-inch is your pressure. So, uh, it is in real good shape. It's look well. We've got some scars here, but I mean, that wouldn't really hurt it. It's not really into the metal or anything. So, I mean, we can flush this hose out here and maybe put it on and run an extension. I'm trying not to buy too much hose. Uh, you know, the last hose I bought was about uh, 12 inches long and cost me $40. So, uh, you know, hoses, hydraulics seem to have about a 300% markup, uh, I guess, for the uh, 
wholesaler to be able and recoup his money from uh, buying a, the uh, crimper and everything. So hoses are just outrageous expensive. But I think this fitting right here will work because this is a, uh, I think that's inch and this is inch and a quarter. So this fitting should go right into the back of that pump. That's what we need, the straight one. And then uh, we probably won't use that one. I've got more fittings. We'll see if we can get one adapted down that's straight to a, uh, I guess it's a GIC. We'll get a uh, GIC male half inch and uh, go ahead and see if we can get some fittings on it and get ready to try to get the hoses done and we'll mount this tank, hook the hoses up, put some fluid in it and it, you know, we'll be able to burnish that pump. Now I did learn that uh, burnishing that pump has nothing to do with the belt. It's all it's got to do with is the clutch plates themselves. So uh, we will uh, we'll go by the, the directions there and do that uh, when we get ready to, uh, or when we get the hydraulics hooked up to it. We'll get the switch hooked up and everything. But it's coming out really good. Uh, you know, I think I'm gonna like it. Uh, could have been a lot worse. I mean, we, I was really lucky it was already an AC compressor there. You know, we was able to use the original belt uh, it's a little cleaner on the outside than what it was. It don't look the, the same, but I've got some stuff that's, uh, I'll show you. It's called belt traction. This, this is old stuff. And uh, rubber, leather, com composition, canvas, and fabric. Uh, yeah, this is probably 60 years old or so, but stuff works real good. And uh, I've used it, you know, plenty of times before on belts. And, uh, Believe it or not, if you ever smelled an Indian head gasket shellac, uh, that's basically what it smells like. Uh, and it does, for some reason, burn your skin if you get it on you, so you got to be careful with it. But, you know, them old, them old chemicals probably take years and years off my life, I'm sure. But anyway, uh, the end years, I don't think they're the best ones anyway. So, All right, let me get at it. Okay, I couldn't find me a daggone fitting that was three-quarter pipe thread and a half-inch GIC. So, I pulled the other one out. I don't think I'm going to use this. I think I'll pick me up a straight one when I, when I go get my suction hose. But I did get this one off. And uh, it goes in here. Now, they say, and, and some of you might have read it. I think someone asked about it. But uh, they say not to use thread tape on these. And it actually voids your warranty. And I'm not going to use thread tape, even though I've used it plenty of times on pumps. But I don't want to take a chance on this pump being bad and then you know, they find a microscopic thread tape inside of it and then uh, won't warrant it. So uh, I'm sure it's because people wrapped the ends of the pipe and got it, you know, up in the pump and locked it down or something along them lines. But uh, anyway, we've. Uh, I think we've come about as far as we can come without going and getting some parts. And I'll probably go ahead and mount the tank and wait on this because I want to be able to get a good measurement. Uh, getting a measurement on the hose is no problem. It goes from here basically all of the all the way to the back on the driver's side. So that hose is going to be really long. Uh, I can go to Northern and buy that hose pre-made a lot cheaper and get it, uh, just get a fitting because I'm, you know, they, I think they got 12 foot sections. And I don't think... I don't think 24 feet will do it. I'll have to check, but it's probably going to take more than 24 feet from here back. Uh, it'll be close, but uh, suction line, I'm going to measure it out when I get the tank on. Like I said, that stuff's not cheap, but uh, hopefully they got enough in stock. If not, I'll have to order, but we'll see. But anyway, appreciate everybody watching, and uh, I'll keep you updated. Bye.